Hi, Sam here from CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's Express Tip on using Civil AccuDraw. MicroStation AccuDraw is a great tool for precision drawing, but it does not always allow the options you might need while working in a civil environment. Now, there is another tool called Civil AccuDraw which provides similar functionality, but with more options and more of a civil slant. First, I'll turn off regular AccuDraw. The regular AccuDraw and Civil AccuDraw share a lot of the same key ends and therefore should not be run at the same time. To turn on Civil AccuDraw, I'll go to Tools, Civil AccuDraw, Activate Toolbar. The first command on this toolbar toggles Civil AccuDraw on and off. I'll toggle it on, and now when I pick my Place Shape command, you'll notice that I have a heads-up display following my cursor around. That is my Civil AccuDraw display. I'm starting out in distance direction mode, but I can toggle the mode to one of the other options using my right arrow key on the keyboard or by picking the options on the toolbar. Notice I'm in distance direction. I go to a different distance and direction. This is called unlinked. We'll talk about the two unlinked options in just a minute. Then I've got the coordinate readout, and then the delta X and delta Y, which is very similar to the regular AccuDraw. I also have a station offset option. In this example, I'll construct a simple parcel to demonstrate a few of the advantages of Civil AccuDraw. As I said, I've chosen the Place Shape command. I'm going to choose my first point by picking the lower right corner of an existing parcel. Notice when I do that, I have a compass that is somewhat similar to the AccuDraw compass in regular MicroStation. However, if you'll notice, the readout it's giving me is a little bit different. I have a circle indicating the distance field and a line indicating the direction field. What I want to do first is I want to continue the same line or same bearing as the other parcel. Just like regular AccuDraw, I'll use an RQ to rotate the AccuDraw compass, lock on to a point on the existing line, and that sets my indices off of the existing. I'll give it my first distance, enter to lock it, and then it locks me on to the distance at the angle of the first line. I'll accept that, and then if I want to rotate the compass back, although notice the arrow always points to north, but I want to rotate my compass back so I can use the same key ends again as general AccuDraw. So I can use a T for the top orientation or a V for the view orientation. Let's say for the second line, I want to match this line in the original parcel or the other adjacent parcel. Well, again, similar to regular AccuDraw, I can key in RE for rotate to element, lock on to that line, and it rotates my compass where I can lock on to the angle of the other parcel line. Find the distance that I want or key in the distance that I want enter to lock it, and accept with a data point. For my back line on the parcel, let's say I want to come out a certain distance, a known distance, and tie in to the existing parcel. That would require two compasses, which I can accomplish by choosing one of my unlinked options. I've got a distance direction unlinked and a distance distance unlinked. In this case I want distance direction. I'll choose distance direction and then notice nothing appears to be different at first however if I tab to the direction field and choose an O on my keyboard then I can lock in another compass. So now I have a compass that is the origin of the direction and a compass that is the origin of the distance. 
I'll lock on to a key point on the line that I'm wanting to match and hit my enter to lock that bearing in. Notice the line now moves up and down the existing parcel. I'll tab back up to my distance field, key in the distance that I want, enter to lock it, and notice there are two solutions. I choose the one that I want and accept it with a data point. To complete the parcel, I'll simply lock back in to the original or I could choose close element on my place shape toolbar. In this example, Civil AccuDraw was used with a microstation command, but you can also use it with the inroads geometry tools if you want to create geometry as well as the microstation element. It can also be used with the new Civil Geometry tools, which we'll be exploring in future tips in CivilCAD Consultant. If you like Civil AccuDraw but you don't like the heads up display, pick the down arrow on your keyboard and you can use a dialog box instead. Thanks for watching. If you're not on our email list, be sure to sign up at civilcadconsultant.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.